You know, I think that this is a really interesting summit and it's an interesting room and all these conferences are, are great because folks come together from all sides of this industry and everybody's talking about, you know, what is most pertinent to them at the time. Um, so folks that are here in the CTV space versus the traditional linear space versus, you know, the more open web digital all have different issues top of mind. Uh, and the reason I think that, that events like this are particularly great is it allows us to take a step back and realize we're all in this one huge ecosystem, right? Which is putting content in front of consumers and then figuring out how to monetize that. Um, and all of the challenges and all of the opportunities that we see individually are actually broader and impact all of us. Uh, and as I think about Paramount and how this really pertains from our perspective, we have you know, content being distributed across all different kinds of endpoints, whether that's paid streaming, whether that's free streaming via Pluto TV, broadcast, cable television, linear addressable, et cetera. Um, we have to think about all of those things and how do you actually glue all of those inventory distribution points together in a way that one, operationalizes things smoothly and at scale, and two, generates the benefits of each individual inventory tranche while minimizing sort of the challenges that they all face. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. I mean, you and your peers in the industry are now very clearly portfolio companies. You have multiple different products and services. Is that a source of operational complexity, a headache, given your role? Or actually, is it a great strength? Does it create multiple options and opportunities? I, I think it's both, right? It's, it's a, I'm not going to say it's a headache, right? But operational challenges are, are real, especially as you start to look at combining different types of uh, video content that are distributed wildly differently, right? Not everything comes out of an ad server. So even if you have one ad server, you still are looking at linear traffic systems. You're still looking at how you're working with MVPDs for addressable send. And, and those are complex and, and challenging operational issues. Um, I think that we do a great job, obviously, but a lot of it is, is figuring out how do you make that easier for the buyer, right? How does the operational challenge, how does that work behind the scenes at a scale high enough for us to continue to sell these things at and, and the growth rate that we're seeing without having our buyers understand that, like, look, some of this stuff is, is being managed on the back end. Um, the opportunity, though, is, is huge because every one of these different pieces of inventory has a different piece of value, right? They drive different effects. Whether we can target an individual consumer that's really, really hard to reach in an effective and an efficient way, or whether we can use something like broadcast television to get massive amounts of reach just out of the gates. Um, how can you pile all of that together in a single campaign to generate additive benefit to our ultimate buyers? That's the opportunity. From a yield and monetization point of view, which pool of inventory is most commercially valuable to you on a per viewer or per hour basis? It's really tough to answer that question because when we think about, especially a conversion campaign that's leveraging every piece of inventory that we have you know, to distribute, our yield is inextricably tied to the efficiency of that campaign, which by the way is also in the best interest of our, our buyers and the best interest of the advertiser. The more efficiently we can drive results for the advertiser, the better steward of their budgets we can be by leveraging linear television, addressable television, CTV digital, et cetera, uh, in this coordinated effort, the more yield we're going to make because we're just, we're just growing the pie of value. They get a slice of pie, we get a slice of pie, everybody eats some pie, it's great. So we heard Adam Gerber from Group M earlier talking a bit about how he would like to see more buy-side decisioning on targeting and ad impressions and so on. Do you think the industry is close to giving Adam what he wants? I think that we're making great strides here. That's a, a lot of that is an operational question. I look at partnerships we have with folks like OpenAP and the operational benefits that they're bringing not only to our business, but the types of visibility they're giving, giving to you know, Adam and, and every agency and every buyer, right? We want to be transparent. We want to allow the buy side to sort of understand exactly what's happening in, you know, in our walls, right? in our portfolio, how that affects the rest of their buy from all these other portfolios and to be able to action against that. Um, I look at our relationship as, you know, collaborative, right? Um, and we want him to be doing all the decisioning. But we also want to be able to take advantage in that transaction of the unique pieces that a publisher holds around, you know, the, um, for instance, right, how well tethered we are into our own operation systems, how we can see our inventory across all these things. How can we allow Adam to decision on the type of information and the type of uh, activations that we publishers have as well? 
Adam's other big ask for the industry is to give him and his colleagues that holistic view of the total marketplace that he needs to support planning and other things. How far away are we from having that? A, a really good view of who's watching what, when, where, and on what device across everybody? That's a tough one to answer. Uh, and I'll say it's because it's not just up to us, right? The challenge with, with answering that is, is, well, how can we get everybody to provide that type of information because that's the only real way um, and to provide it in a, in a somewhat consistent way so that that buyers can look across all of their buy and understand here's how these parts glue together um, i don't think though that that's a barrier to moving forward right there's a huge runway between full visibility and transparency uh, for across all media tomorrow and where we're at today and i think we've made a lot of great strides open id i think is helping us uh, do that um, but a lot of these things are that are kind of feel operational in nature, especially around the ID frameworks, XPM, some of these other things, measurement, they kind of feel like part of an ad sales transaction. They're actually really driving forward the ability to do cross-publisher and cross-media measurement as well. So final question, given where we've got to, it's fall 2022, if there was one problem that we in the industry could solve during the course of the next 12 months, what would you really like everyone to focus on? I think the biggest, the biggest thing to focus on, um, especially from an operational standpoint, is how can we start to determine in a very accurate way that these devices are in this household across all media points, how can we have accuracy and identity resolution, uh, and then apply that not only to the measurement, but frankly to the execution side as well.